we are doing, we are filming midweek drink today and it's actually Friday, but whatever, girls gotta work and it's time for a beer. We are having the Elysian Noise partnered with the Seattle Seahawks to go with my Seattle Seahawks shirt. Proud craft beer partner of the Seattle Seahawks Elysian, the Noise limited edition pale ale. Um, and it says the noise. Elysian Brewing brings the noise. This highly drinkable pale ale swaggers with hints of citrus, candied orange, and vanilla. The noise is as much a home field advantage as 69,000 unified voices. It's loud and proud. A portion of the net proceeds from every can sold goes to help eliminate homelessness through Plymouth Housing. PlymouthHousing.org. Brew House. We opened our doors in 1996 when bold art and music defined Seattle. We carry that same spirit in the way we brew our beer. It's about taking chances, learning from our missteps, and changing perceptions. Pull up a bar stool at ElysianBrewing.com. I love that. And I love that can. This was part of my birthday gift that I keep speaking about whenever we're doing tastings. So it's a pale ale, huh? And we are... My Tasty Tries and Asian Eyes drinkware is in the dishwasher. So we're back to a mason jar. But I ain't mad, or a curd jar, I should say. Is it, is it gonna fit? Yeah, it should fit, right? Still working on the poor thing. Anyways, how are y'all doing? I am excited to sleep in tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie one bit. I have a list of things to do. Oh my God. We're gonna be very careful not to. I didn't smell and that's okay. Yeah, that's good. Standard pale ale, very easy to drink. I'm not gonna lie, this is not gonna be the only beer I drink tonight. This is good though, it's a good way to kick off the weekend. I realize I'm probably gonna upload this on a Wednesday, but you know, let's not hate here, people. Nine to five in healthcare, eight to five in healthcare. It's a tough world. Mm. Super easy to drink, by the way, I believe that I have been to Elysian Brewing before. It has been a while though. It has been a while, but this is delicious. And especially if they're partnering with the Seattle Seahawks, why not? I'm pretty sure I'll need to keep this can at least for a little while, maybe give it back to Chanda because she is a very big Seahawks fan. Not as big as her mother, Wendy Johnson, who I'm sure you've heard her yelling on TV if you've been watching the Seahawks. She is literally the biggest Seahawks fan and actually, Chanda, who is one of my very dearest friends, told me that when she was growing up, I just learned this last weekend, when she was growing up, Wendy made her and her brother leave the house on Sundays when the Seahawks were playing. She would literally tell them that they had to leave and would lock the doors. <laughs> and I mean, this was back in the 80s when Chanda was little. And she was just like, go go play at the school. And so Chanda and her brother, and the neighborhood friends would all go get, you know, mischief while the Seahawks were playing. And then they'd come back and Wendy Johnson was none the wiser, so. This is good. This is one of those beers that you can drink while they're, the Seahawks are playing and you could probably drink a lot of them and still be totally fine because it's very easy to drink. It would go great with some chicken wings. I could drink quite a few of these, I'm sure. But very, very smooth, good flavor, standard pale ale. I'm not going to say that there's anything like exciting about the blender recipe or whatever. I, okay, let's smell. Um, I will agree that there are notes of citrus. I would not 
peg it as candied orange or vanilla, but I can tell that there's something in here. Again, my very discernible palette is picking up some kind of a citrus brew, flavor, essence. The Seahawks right now, and today is October 2nd, the Seahawks are currently 3-0. and <sighs> Who knows what's going to happen after this weekend? Hopefully they're 4-0. But right now, undefeated. That's awesome. That's something to drink about. Um, Let's see, what else is going on? It is October. I can't believe it's October. I'm just going to try and put this down during this video. I cannot believe it's October. Three paychecks in October, which is great. Last week was a very expensive week in my household for pets. It was probably about $1,500 a week. Thank goodness for care credit. Excuse me. We're good enough friends that I can burp on camera, right? Excuse me. Pardon me. Let's see what else. So it was a very financially draining week. Uh, thank goodness for care credit, which is one of those uh, services that you get for things your insurance doesn't cover. And you can have, depending on how much you spend, you have so long to pay without having any interest built up. However, the catch is if you don't pay within that time period and pay it all off, you will actually be charged interest on that initial amount. So actually one of my to do's this weekend is to figure out how much I need to pay per month in order to make that happen. So I'm going to be doing a little math this weekend to figure that out, but that's okay. I am very grateful that I have that and that I had the ability to take Carly into the pet emergency room when she needed it, when I felt she needed it. I actually uploaded a vlog about that if you want to check it out. So, and thank you for all of your positive vibes. I had posted on my Instagram stories, just what was going on and everything. And I very much appreciate everyone reaching out and just asking about her, giving me well wishes, but just, you know, that you care. And that really touched me because I don't have any kids. And so Harley is my fur baby. Trigger and Josie are my fur babies. So I don't have to put them through college. I don't have to buy them braces or a car or pay for weddings for <laughs> Harley and Josie. Um, I don't, I haven't had to bail anyone out of jail. Trigger did start some cat Prozac this week. So that is an expense that I wasn't expecting, but if it helps him feel more at ease with everything, then why not? But yeah, so that happened <laughs> and we're in October now. We had a discussion this week with like the physician assistants and the medical assistants and my nurse leads at work just about car clinic moving forward and with the snow inevitably coming. I'm predicting that we are going to have a hard winter here in Yakima. That's just what I'm predicting. Thankfully, if I needed to, I could walk to work. I could. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to because I'd have to walk home, which is all uphill. And God, that sounds horrible. Um, but I am predicting that we're going to have a tough winter, snow-wise. Um, I'm also predicting, excuse me, flu season is going to get um, a little dicey just because the symptoms can present as COVID or COVID symptoms can present as flu or vice versa. So there's that, but we'll manage just like we always have been. Very grateful for the people that I work with. Um, what else happened? Oh, my parents moved here. I know. On the next last day of September, they moved here officially. Five out of the six of us kids were there to help move and uh, blessings to the three siblings and especially Chris who went over to uh, Ben to pack them up, 
get them going, all of that. But they are here, which is really exciting. They're doing some remodeling on their new house, which is nice. And it's really nice to know that they're literally 10 minutes away. And it's really good to have them in the same town. So holidays, when I'm thinking about like what 2020 has in store or left for us, holidays will be less stressful just because they are here and I won't have to drive the four hours to go see them in Bend. So I am thankful for that. And I am thankful that I can just pop over there after work and they can see their favorite daughter. That's me guys, I'm the favorite daughter whenever they want to. So cheers to that. I killed it. I killed it. It happened. This is delicious. I would totally drink more if I had them. I'm so grateful for my cool friends who got me the best birthday gift ever, but this is delicious. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you stay safe or the rest of the week. If I post this on Wednesday, shh, our secret. Um, but thank you. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure that you comment below. If there's a beer that you want me to try, I will source it out and I will find it. Um, and I just hope you are doing well and the best wishes to you. Bye.